Earth is the center of the cosmos. And revolving around it, the sun and the five wanderers, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, obstinately disobeying the law of the circle. <clears throat> Nevertheless, Ptolemy shows us that they do obey it. The fact that we see them move in a loop is due to the joint effect of two circles, one that travels around the Earth and another lesser circle proper to each wanderer. Well, look, they're beside us. So you see, it's not heaven that errs, but our eyes that deceive us. Well said, David. I'd like you to know that your exposition shows me that you've been paying closer attention than uh, one or two. Others here? <laughs> I tell you, the gods should have consulted me before they created anything. And why do you say that, Orestes? It all seems so whimsical. Why the joint effect of two circles? Wouldn't it be more perfect if the wanderers didn't wander? And a single circle gave sense to everything? Orestes, by what authority do you judge the work of God? What is wrong with you Christians? Can a man no longer open his mouth in this city? You criticize creation, you criticize our Lord, and you offend us. You should move out to the desert. You won't hear anything to offend you out there. <laughs> you know nothing of what you speak, none of you. Dionysius, what is Euclid's first rule? Why the question? Just answer me. Uh, if two things are equal to a third thing, then they are all equal to each other. Good. Now, are you both not similar to me? Yes. And you, Orestes? Yes. Now, I am actually saying this to everybody here in this room. More things unite us than divide us. Now, whatever may be going on in the streets, we are brothers. We are brothers. I want you to remember that brawls are for slaves and for riffraff. Now, I think we should all honor Davis with some very well-earned applause. So. Thank you.